saw an interesting costume at the Miu Miu show. I called the costume for remote work and I won it. Okay, I decided to make it because after sewing this beautiful green polo, I still have fabric that isn't enough for a top but enough for panties. This is a merino wool with elastan and incredibly thin and delicate fabric. I made the pattern according to my own measurements. If you also want to sew clothes according to your own measurements and proportions, then write me in Instagram. My profile calls Soy Nomad. I will make a personal patterns of trousers, polo, underwear, skirts, especially for you. Let's already sew polo and panties. The fabric for two hours in warm water, dry it on the table, then hung up. I cut sleeves, back, front and two flies. I marked the center on the back of the throat and at the front with a long strip that the fly was a centimeter lower than the strip. I marked the center on the sleeve and where the front is on sleeves because the parts of the sleeves are not the same, so it's important to note before stitching. Surged flies from one edge, fold it in half, interface them on the other side. When you saw any elastic product on the serger, set two on the differential. I set one and half as the fabric is very thin. This setting gathers the fabric. If you've seen the sleeve on gold long sleeve, it doesn't look perfect due to the fact that I didn't use this setting. I draw on the right side of the front line where I will sew the flies. And you just need to transfer these lines from the personal pattern. I also draw lines on flies to make easier stitching. Two hands step back and front, otherwise the fabric will move out. Cut is shown in the picture along the pink lines. At the very end, leave one millimeter each side. Cut very carefully. Cut off the extra fabric and bend the flies. Sew first on a sewing machine, then on a serger. And one more time on the sewing machine on right side. Put the back to the front face to face and connect the shoulders. Because the fabric is expensive, I want to wear the polo for a long time. I will add non-stretching interfacing tape to the shoulders. You can add everything that doesn't stretch. You can add nothing, the seam will stretch over time. And this is how I look when I cut the collar. I was too lazy to go to print out the patterns of just the collar, so I counted incorrectly and cut out another collar. Yes, I don't know how to draft patterns well without the program. Cut off the corners at the collar, so the corners will be sharp.
Mark the center of the collar and connect to the center on the back. Mark the center of the flies till these marks we will sew the collar. We fold the flies face to face and sew. Cut off the corners. I like to hem with an iron sleeves and bottom before sewing, but you need to sew the parts uh, as usual without a hem. Sew the sleeves and sides. If you want to get seams like from a store, steam the seam on the left side. Connect the upper mark on the sleeve with the seam on the shoulder and the seam on the side with the seam on the sleeve. Distribute the rest of the length of the entrance to the sleeve. I folded the bottom by 3 cm and the sleeves by 2. I will sew hem on the sleeves with a double needle by 1.5 cm and the bottom by 2. I reduced the thread tension till 2. The loop is a little eerie, but the seam looks beautiful. Personal painty Spartans are waiting for you in my Instagram sewing nomad. Follow me there. I love sewing paintings. My passion for sewing began with them. That I learned how to draft digital patterns. I learned how to draft patterns for trousers using the most complicated system. In general, paintings are my love. I also have several videos on my channel with instructions how to sew paintings. Watch them.